Thanks for logging on to MonarchFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We continue to watch. Uh, now, Hurricane Laura moved off the Cuba coastline and quickly uh, became a hurricane. Now, it continues to work its way over waters that are really ideal for intensification. And you can see that in the enhanced satellite loop as the loop goes on. You're just seeing more and more of that really deep convection where you see the deep reds and magentas uh, close to the center. That is indicative of an intensifying storm. Now, as of yet, we have not seen that eye. We have what we call a central dense overcast. But as the day goes on into tonight, I do expect we're going to start to see that eye emerging from this system. Satellite and the wind shear combined shows just more of that lighter wind shear across uh, at least a part of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as it gets a bit further to the north, right near the coastline just prior to landfall, uh, it does look like the wind shear will start to pick up over this system. But remember, at that point, this will be a major hurricane or expected to be a major hurricane at that point. So how much effect will it have uh, in that short period of time? That remains to be seen. But if we can do anything to weaken it, that is certainly uh, beneficial. Water temperature is still very warm across the Gulf of Mexico. So there is plenty of fuel to work with. So 75 mile an hour winds right now. That forecast track takes it onto the north and the northwest, uh, basically right near that state line of Louisiana and into Texas as we go into late tomorrow night and into early on Thursday. Conditions, I think, will start to really go downhill as we get into tomorrow afternoon. You look at the two different computer models, some of our major computer models uh, really in very good agreement with this storm working its way right towards coastline. You can see how closely these are, are both agreeing. Now, remember, on that right-hand side of the storm, that is the stronger side of the storm. That's where you're going to see that storm surge working its way on shore. So we are looking at the potential of 7 to 11 feet of storm surge working its way or along the Carolina co or the Louisiana coastline as we go into late tomorrow night and early on Thursday morning. So this is going to be a very serious situation and we're going to see quite a bit of damage. Really, uh, everything really starts to change once you get up into that major hurricane status. We just ramp up the intensity and the damage that you see with these systems. So a very ser serious situation developing here and we will continue to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.